action. Hi, my name is Esther Willie Polo, and I'm with Pacific Entertainment Access. And today is a very special debut interview for us. I have here City in his house, um, Mr. Audrey Glotlu Porter himself. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to him and have uh, I think. Uh for me, you know, obviously I'm Samoan, Polynesian, and so uh, it's one of those things that's kind of rare in the sense of the movie business, unless you're a stuntman or unless you're uh, Dwayne Johnson or, you know, The Rock, but I think for me it's, uh, you know, I came straight out of school, went to work for the Osmonds and uh, got into the Director's Guild through being an assistant director, and so uh, that's my life, pretty and much. And how old were you when you know you got out of school? I got out of school probably when I was about uh, twenty. Uh, school out of twenty-two. My w wife and I were actually married young. She was twenty-one. I was twenty-two when we got married. And so uh, uh, I graduated from school. Went directly to work for the Osmonds. I graduated from BYU and went directly to work for the Osmonds uh, as a tour guide. And then uh, as a tour guide, I was about to take my uh, my medcats you know, my medical exams, because I was a pre-med student, and, uh, and decided at the last minute, much to my parents' chagrin, that uh, I would get in the entertainment business. Wow. So I kind of gave up my medical thing and went into the entertainment business. So kind of, it was a conscious decision, because I was married at the time, and, uh, and much to my parents, they were not very happy, because I... I don't know if you're familiar with the pollen, you know, obviously you're familiar with Polynesians, so my parents knew only a couple things. You could either be a lawyer, mm. a doctor, or uh, maybe a fireman. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. That's or in school, period. Or, or in school, forever, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I know in entertainment, that's, that's kind of like rare for them. They're not too familiar with that. They're just like, oh, you know. Kamiki Fayaka or, or the actors and like you say like Dwayne Johnson if you're not wrestling there's not so much you know options you know that we can actually meddle into it's almost like you know being Polynesian is like you're born and then here here's your, your life it's already mapped out for exactly. you. these are your options so how did that you know how did you feel about going against the grains of what your parents you know had envisioned for your life well, I think my parents it. lived uh, an interesting life uh, they were very uh, you know, we when we were born and raised, you know, and looking back, we were born, uh, they raised us up in the San Fernando Valley. Mm. And at the time when I was growing up, there was only, like only one family, some one family that I knew in the valley, and that was the Suez. And we were fairly close to them. But every every weekend, we would have to drive down to South Bay to see my cousins, and we would do it every weekend. We, yeah. you, know, you know, in retrospect, I didn't think anything of it, because you're a kid, you just go where your parents go. You know, and you just kind of, go with whatever your mom and dad say. Right. And so uh, it was kind of unusual that we were sort of isolated. But in retrospect, I think my parents actually did it purposely. Um, my brother, my sister, and I, I have, you know, a couple, I have a stepbrother, older, I don't know them well, but uh, it's basically my brother and I and my sister. And all of us were, were pushed hard to get an education, really pushed very hard. So we all graduated uh, from uh, from college, and then at the same time, my brother went off and did his career, and my sister did her, her career, and uh, fortunately, we've been very successful in all of our endeavors. And it's basically because my father and mother pushed us really hard to to succeed. To su well, to succeed and also get an education. My my dad's saying was, education <coughs> makes the man, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we. We were we would suffer, you know, physically <laughs> as well as mentally. <laughs> we'd suffer at the hands of my parents if we didn't, uh, you know, you know, sasa -sa and blah blah blah. If we didn't, uh, if we didn't toe the line as far as our, our education, so that's what we did, and uh, I have to really thank them for that. But uh, and in a sense, it's kind of interesting. It it was great that we are. You know, we were pushed hard, and we were all educated, and we're fairly successful in what we're doing. It also kind of tended to put us away from the culture because when my parents both passed away, you know, that whole the whole Samoan culture sort of went a little bit with them, in the sense that you know we were always had them close to be with cousins and family, and and we don't have that luxury anymore. 
except for my cousins, obviously. But even my cousins nowadays are. Uh, it's almost feel. It almost feels culturally sometimes that we're uh, a little isolated, you know. But uh, I love being with my cousins. It's just that uh, that's that's the downside of of having assimilated into you know the mainstream of America. So, okay. but uh, that was purpose. That was purposeful. So.